In this video, we'll be covering how to set up your own Bitcoin node with Umbrel and Mint runes. After you've connected your Umbrel to your network and power, go to umbrel.local from your browser. Once there, the first step you'll need to do is go to the App Store and download Bitcoin Node. Bitcoin Node will start syncing and download a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. Not only is a Bitcoin node required for ordinals, you're helping to contribute to the decentralization and robustness of the Bitcoin network. While the sync is happening, and this can take one to two days, head back to the App Store and download Ord. To interact with the ordinals protocol, you need to use this application. And one of the primary steps in the setup process involves the application scanning the entire Bitcoin blockchain. It will identify and index every transaction to pinpoint the locations of ordinals and their associated inscriptions. Selecting Open will then open a local version of the Ordinals Explorer. Please note, if you've just started indexing, it's not uncommon to see nothing there. The next step is to talk to our umbrella over the network using Terminal on Mac or Command Prompt on Windows. To do this, type ssh umbrel at umbrel.local and the password needed is the same one you're using to log in via the browser. Now that we're connected to Umbrel via SSH, we can take a look at the Ord container to check on our indexing progress. To do this, enter the command sudo docker logs f ordinals underscore ord underscore one dash trash tail 100. And part of these logs will actually show you the block that was last synced. The sync will be complete once we reach the current block as shown on mempool.space. To exit at any point in time, use Control c Now to be able to interact with the Ord application via Docker, you'll need to use the command sudo docker exec dash it ordinals underscore ord underscore one forward slash bin forward slash sh. This will allow us to import commands directly into the Ord application and interact with it. The first example we'll demonstrate is creating a wallet with the command ord wallet create. This wallet will be used to create your runes and it is crucial to save the seed phrase in a secure location. Once we have the seed phrase, we can then derive a receiving address. To do this, you'll use the command ord wallet receive. However, since we're still syncing, you'll receive an error message and we'll need to wait for the sync to complete. Typically, this can take one to two days on average. Now by viewing my logs again, I can see that we're fully synced as we no longer see the Ord indexer logs. Once we've reconnected to our docker using sudo docker exec dash it ordinals underscore Ord underscore one forward slash bin forward slash sh, now we should be able to get a receiving address to send Bitcoin to and mint our runes. To get your receiving address, type Ord wallet receive. This is the address you'll need to fund to mint your runes. And to view your balance, simply type Ord Wallet Balance. Now there's funds in your wallet, you can go ahead and try mint some runes. For minting runes, enter Ord Wallet Mint dash dash fee rate, fee rate dash dash rune, substituting the fee rate with the desired fee rate and rune with the actual name of the rune. In this demonstration, I'll show you what command to use to mint uncommon goods at a fee rate of 100 sats. Being that runes are not yet on mainnet, I won't be able to go ahead, but pressing enter should then mint your runes. Should you run into any troubles, you can always type dash dash help to access more information. 